So today the topic is telomeres. I'm going to try to break this down in real simple terms so you can really get it. So a telomere would be compared to the end of a shoestring, that little plastic protective thing that protects against fraying. So if we compare the shoestring to a telomere, the telomere is the end part of the shoestring. It's the DNA structure at the end of chromosomes. You can look at a chromosome as the entire DNA strand, okay, with everything connected to it. So you have the DNA, which is the blueprints, and basically DNA are sections of genes, but the entire collective chain of DNA is the chromosome. So a telomere is basically a DNA structure at the end of chromosomes that shorten with each division. So I'm gonna give you another analogy. Let's say, for example, um, I'm gonna copy you, okay, with a little scanner, and I have to grab onto your arm or your wrist to copy you. So I scan your entire body, okay, it makes a copy of you, similar to what's happening in the body, you're constantly making copies of the DNA. But the problem is I can't scan backwards, and part of your wrist and hand is not being copied. So I make a copy, but the copy is going to be just a little shorter than the actual body because I'm holding the wrist and hand. So then I'm going to make a copy of the copy. I'm going to grab the wrist, scan again, and I'm going to keep doing this over and over and over. Every time it divides, okay, these telomeres are going to get shorter and shorter and shorter and shorter because part of the copy mechanism has to attach to the telomere. Now, one thing about a telomere is it's part of what's called junk DNA. And I'm going to do a separate video on junk DNA, but junk DNA is not non-functional. It has a purpose. But realize this, out of all of your DNA, only 5% is responsible for making your tissue to make proteins. The rest is considered junk DNA, but it does have a purpose. The telomere is part of that junk DNA. So telomeres basically protect the ends of chromosomes. The Greek word for telos means end and morose means part, so it's the end part. And they found it's related to your lifespan. There's actually a rare genetic disease with certain children that are basically born old, and they have a body of a 70-year-old. And when they tested them, they had very short telomeres. So over time, when your DNA keeps dividing over and over, the telomeres shorten, and you get less gene expression, which basically means you're getting less activation of certain genes, uh, especially related to repair. So when you're very young, your DNA inside your cells have a huge capacity to keep up with the damage. When you're older, okay, because you have less telomeres, you basically have a hard time keeping up with the repair. And that's how it relates to aging. Now, how do you explain cancer cells that can live forever? Well, they produce an enzyme called telomerase, which can counter this shortening effect. So a telomerase is an enzyme that allows for the replacement of these short bits of DNA. In fact, uh, in the 50s, uh, there was this lady who had cervical cancer, and they extracted this cervical cancer, and they started to reproduce these cells okay, out of her body, over and over and over, over a period of decades, okay? And that cancer was able to reproduce 20 tons of cancer cells. Now think about it, one ton is 2,000 pounds. So that's just an example of what happens with cancer cells that keep dividing and they just take over the body. Now you're gonna see a lot of research coming up in the next five, 10 years on this enzyme now, there are some research studies going on right now on humans. Uh, they've been doing research on bacteria, yeast, and animals, but now they're going to actually start doing it on humans, and so it should be quite interesting. Um, what we do know right now is there is um, a plant called astragalus uh, that has the ability to boost telomerase, and it seems like it has some interesting properties, anti-aging properties, increasing your immune system, decreasing your frequency of getting sick, uh, improving your sleep, increasing your memory. So the studies right now are inconclusive. So if you go out and get this product, uh, I have no idea if it's going to extend your life even by one day. Now, what I'm interested in is taking the top reasons why people die. Heart attacks, stroke, kidney failure, cancer, lung disease, and then teaching you what you can do to take your weak link and strengthen it because if we can actually eliminate the top reasons why people die, you're gonna live longer, regardless of your telomeres. Now, in a lot of videos that I've done before, I relate uh, a lot of the uh, reasons why people die 
to high insulin, okay, and high carbohydrate diets. And this is why, if you're new to my channel, you need to learn more about it. So I put a link down below. You need to do healthy keto and intermittent fasting to take that weak link, whether it's your heart or your immune system or your kidney and make it stronger so you actually can extend your life. All right, thanks for watching. Hey, if you're liking this content, please subscribe now and I will actually keep you updated on future videos.